All right, sixth graders, this is to help you with question one on CR 15. And what I did for this week's CR Helper is I looked back at how Ms. Connor makes up CR Helpers for students. And last year, I just looked back on what her CR Helper looked like, and I modeled my videos after that. So for question one, she gave you hints for rounding decimals to any place. The first thing she said to do is underline the place that you are rounding to. She then says circle the digit to the right. And then she gives you this rule. This must be what, as sixth graders, the rule you say. I use vertical number lines to, to round. So I don't know this rule, but I guess this is the rule you use. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. So let's go through it. Here's a couple examples. For the first one, I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. So it says underline the place that you are rounding to. So the tenths place is right here. Then it says circle the digit to the right. All right, I'll circle the digit to the right. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. So if we see this is four, that's four or less, we let the three rest. So rounding to the nearest tenth, this would be 9.3. Now if you wanted to round to the nearest hundredth, underline the place value that you're rounding to. So this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place. Oops, underline that place value. Circle the digit to the right. If it's five or more, raise the score, because eight is five or more, we'll raise the score. Ms. Pearson used to say, add one more, kick the rest out the door. It's just interesting that at every grade level you probably learn different sayings and no wonder students always think they're learning something new. So here, if as sixth graders you say five or more raise the score, it means raise that four up to a five. So it's 9.35. That's rounding that number to the nearest hundredths. All right, I hope that helps.